Hi, Bill. Uh, got a question for you. Sure. Uh, the incorporation of a banjo and, and some of the other Americana. Uh, I remember very, towards the end of his career, Miles began incorporating rock and, and indicated a great love for rock uh, to, to incorporate with jazz. Mm -hmm. Is that in a way uh, what has inspired you to uh, try and bring in some other musical genres uh, to your jazz identity? To a certain degree, it's just fun. It's just really fun, you know, because it makes it interesting. It's like, as a painter, they don't paint the same picture every day, you know, and as a musician, I don't want to play the same song with the same rhythm section every day. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with musicians that play straight ahead jazz and acoustic music all the time. For me personally, to make it interesting, I've got to have a change every now and then. And that's the only way music's going to grow. It's the only way jazz is going to grow is if someone takes a chance, puts different music together and see what happens. I mean, that's how it's always grown, you know. So for me, it's easy because it's an inspiration to do that, you know. It's unknown, you never know what's going to happen. And it gives the opportunity for something to possibly spark something that really works. Well, in terms of basically uh, uh, jazz, uh, what characterizes it is improvisation to begin with. Right. So that allows you the freedom of incorporating other genres yeah. as well and, and doing what uh, exactly. uh, what what you feel artistically you need to express. Right? Yeah, no, totally. And, and the thing is, it's still the same saxophone, the same mouthpiece, no matter what music's going on behind me. I'm just playing on top of it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know. Y eh, le había preguntado eh, en términos de incorporar otros géneros en su identidad como, eh, como jazzista. Y dijo que es porque, eh, porque lo goza y hay que evolucionar. La segunda pregunta que le hice en particular tiene que ver con el hecho de que eh, el jazz se caracteriza por, eh, por su improvisación, por permitirle la expresión improvisada a los músicos y que efectivamente eh, cuando eh, gente como Miles Davis incorporaron a rock hacia el final de, de su carrera, él piensa lo mismo, que él lo que hace es tocar, pone encima de lo que está tocando atrás, ¿no? bien sea eh, de cualquier género, eh, siempre y cuando él se pueda expresar, porque es la misma boquilla que tiene que usar en el saxofón, así es que no hay distin distinción en eso.